piece of bag, talk about it with your neighbors. What does that mean? Just put your head, hands down, you're talking right now. What does that mean? What is the meaning of 10 with that 2 up there? What does it mean? Give me some answers here. Yeah. 10 inches square. 10 inches square. I bet you've seen that before, like doing math. All right. Good. Well, we're going to get some choices. What are some other choices? Again, which one do you think that it is? Right. Talk about it. So for this one, we're going to add is instant A, B, C, D, even though we only have three choices. So D can't be one of your choices. So D, and then you can choose A, B, or C. about this. So 10 inches squared, it could be, but just the 10 with the 2 up there, if it doesn't have the inches, and then the 2 up there, that's not what it means. But it does, you will see that little 2 up there when you're talking about this. That means you've got 10 this way, and 10 this way, right? This is what you use when you're finding the area of a figure. And what does that mean? How would you find the area of this? If this is 10 here and 10 here, how do you find the area of this? Because it's length times width. So it would be what? 10, length, and how wide? 10. So, those of you who did put B, that is correct. 10 with 2 up there, it doesn't mean 10 times 2. It's kind of a little bit different. It's 10 2 times. Right? 10, 10, 2 of them. What do you do with them? Okay. Right. Let's try another one quickly. Let's see if you got it now. So. Four to the fourth. I don't want an answer, a number at the end. I want to know what does that mean. So here are your choices. It means a four inches. Does it mean four times four? Or does it mean four times four times four times four? Talk about it with your partners. Talk about it with your partners. You can't do anything on the clicker yet because I haven't started it. So talk about it with your partners, A, B, or C. So again, we're going to go instant A, B, C, D, but D is not an option, so A, B, or C. Go. Flip it up. 
got five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. So most people pick C. A couple people pick D. Now let's see. We had the last one was ten squared, and that ten. Two tens multiplied, right? So if we have four to the fourth, what does that mean? Four times four? No, because the two told us that there were two of them. But I don't. This can just be four, and we need a two somewhere, right? There's no two of us. So C four fours, two tens, four fours. And what do you do with them? Multiply. One, two, three, four, four. Multiply. So the correct answer is C. We got C 